All right. Well, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you and happy last day, last Sunday, or last day of the month. Amen. Yeah. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. And we want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio o video. And all we ask you to do is to be ready to receive. Amen. God has something for you. Amen. I, and that's my attitude. You know, Lord, you're going to bless me. And we're going to be talking about counting our blessings again. Amen. So, you know, we, we cannot exhaust this. I mean, we can count our blessings over and over and over all day, you know, and not exhaust them, you know. So anyway, yes. but you know what we ask you to do? Don't leave like you came in Jesus' name. That's right. Don't leave as you joined us, you know. Leave yeah. changed. Yes. Leave yes. blessed, you know. Because yes. yes. the Lord's going to touch you. The Lord's going to meet your need. Amen. Uh -huh. So you remember that. I got a few nuggets I want to share with you before we uh, get started. So all I want you to do is uh, relax. And uh, I shared with you this last Sunday. <laughs> We're not going to hold you long. So <laughs> when you know that, you ease up and open up. Amen. Yes. So let's remember that. Oh, man. Oh, Praise yeah. God. Thank you. We're not going to be long. We're not going to be here two hours, three hours, five hours. <laughs> Amen. So grab your Bibles. And uh, let's say it like you mean it, church. Okay? Praise God. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. I can do. I'm a can do person. Can you call yourself that? Yes. I am a can do person. Why? Because the word of God says so. So I can do all things through Christ. But brother, brother, sister, whatever, you know, they're going to always try to put you down and say, you know, well, that's a thing in the past. You know, you can't do that. That's not what the Bible says, and I'm going to stick by what the Word of God says. Amen. So, praise God. A couple of nuggets to share with you before we get started. Go grab your cup of coffee. Go grab your cup of tea. And join us. And relax. Open your ears. Open your, open your heart. Amen. <laughs> Let God touch you. Amen. A couple of things. Listen to this one. You can write it down. <laughs> Stop focusing on how stressed you are and remember how blessed you are. Amen. We're too blessed to be stressed. Yes. So why are you still stressed out? Uh -huh. Amen. When you know the word, the Bible says the truth is going to set you free. Amen. From whatever is holding you back, whatever is keeping you back. Amen. You're too blessed to be stressed. So stop focusing on how stressed you are and remember how blessed you are. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Praise God. If you're not, we need to get you saved. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy. The easiest way to solve a problem is this. Stop participating in uh -huh. the problem. Yeah. The easiest way to solve the problem is stop participating. Yeah. And you know, if you, they say if you have a broken heart, you know what? Give it to God and give him all the pieces and yes. he'll get it all straight. That's it. Amen. But we got to give it all. Amen. We got to release. We got to surrender. We got and we got to commit to it. So praise God. Sometimes the easiest way to solve a problem is to stop participating. Amen. We are to be participators in His kingdom. Participators. Amen. That's okay. It's good. Amen. But not just uh, uh, stand by or looky lose. You know and see. Or, you know, uh, judging people. No. Right. We got to be participators participate amen and be available for him to use you and here's uh one more <laughs> very simple but you have to do it we got we're can do people okay so yes tell your mountain tell your mountain tell your your your, your anxiety tell your problem whatever it may be yeah. about your god <laughs> tell your mountain about your god yes amen. Amen. if you haven't then you need to start to because when they, when you start confessing the word of God, things happen. Yes. The Bible says he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Also, he's not giving us, a, a, we, we have the power in us. And when we use that power, he'll flee. It says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Why? Because you're going to start speaking the word of God. Yes. And it's going to come out of you. When you speak, it's got to come out of you. And when it comes out of you, <laughs> people listen. Amen. People hear but you know, not only that, not only in the physical realm, but in the spiritual realm. Yes. 
Amen. So we speak it out. Yes. This is the word of God, you know, Amen. and he's backing you. And we're a child of God, and we need to know he's with us. Yes. He never leaves us, never forsakes us. Amen. So those three nuggets we need. Amen. I mean, that's all kinds of little nuggets that you can benefit yes. from. So praise God. We're going to continue. Uh, I wanted to say thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. And I also yes. wanted to say thank you, praise team. You know, <laughs> Praise God for the praise team. You know, Lucifer was a, a, a praise leader, <laughs> an angel. But he saw himself above God, mm -hmm. and that's not a good thing. Nope. But praise is good. Paul and Silas, when they saw themselves in trouble, when they saw themselves hurt, they started mm -hmm. singing praises unto God. Yes. You know, they didn't want complaining. They were counting their blessings and said, praise God. It's, we're not... So beat that we can't praise our God. Right. Yeah. And you know what's what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. You know, don't be so lazy and don't be so so tired <laughs> that you can't play it, bless your God or, know, or praise your God. Amen. But praise Him. You know, I entered in the praise, and you know it blessed me. Sometimes it shows on you through tears. Sometimes through lifting up your hands. Sometimes through dancing. Sometimes through kneeling. Sometimes they're laying down. Yes, what, yeah. Whichever way God wants to bless you. And it's all different. So don't try to copy somebody else. That's you just right. maybe close your eyes and just join in the praise. Yes. And God's yes. going to bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say, Lord, do whatever. He's the potter. We're the clay. Yes. And he's going to mold you and shape you and do whatever needs to be fixed. From yes. the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Amen. Amen. Lord. I'm blessed already. We haven't even started yet. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. You know what? Those of you that are listening, those of you that are watching, we just want you to know Holy Spirit is welcome in this place. Yes. Do you welcome the Holy Spirit in your place? If not, then do. Amen. And, and tell the enemy to go. Yes. There's no room for him here. No room. We command him to go in yes, Jesus' amen. name. Yes. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Have your yes. way. Have your you know? way. It's not Jose's way. It's the Holy Spirit's way. Amen. So whichever way he wants to lead, I'm going to follow Amen. Praise God. Count your blessings. Yes. Is an expression to encourage you to focus on the positive aspects of life rather than the negative. We've been talking about attitude, positive, negative. Well, think about that. Count your blessings and yes. think about the positive things. Amen. Yes. It can serve as a reminder to appreciate each and every uh uh, happiness and that blessed time God yes. has given us. Yes. And the Bible says this day the Lord has made, I will rejoice and yes. be glad in it. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, but it also count your blessings, encourage an individual going through a challenging period to yes. notice and appreciate the positive things. Right. And remember all the good things that have come. Mm -hmm. Psalms 118, 24. Mm -hmm. God gives us a gift, yes, a blessing, yes. a new day. Uh -huh. Amen. Are you do you thank Him for it? Do you rejoice in it? Are you glad in it? Can you say thank you? Yes. <laughs> once, once again, are you magnifying your God? Right. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Yes. Or are you magnifying the problem? Mm. Oh, man, I don't want to wake up, man. I've got so many problems, so many cares, so many anxieties facing me. Mm. <laughs> Why don't you cast them on Him and give yes. them to Him and magnify Him? He already yeah. knows. He's waiting for you to cast them on him. Yeah, yeah. Why are you still holding on to him? Woo, hallelujah. Glory. You know what? Uh, Carmen? Well, here we go. Give thanks for your blessings. Oh, Keep yeah. going. Mm -hmm. Count your blessings and give thanks to the Lord. Amen. If, if you haven't done that, it's time to do it. <laughs> on a daily yeah. basis. Amen. On a daily yeah. basis. Every day. Amen. Every day. Each and every day. Yeah. And not just once a day but right. constantly all yes. of you know Lord thank you amen yes. praise God yeah. keep, keep going mm. count your blessings count name them one by one it and it will surprise you what God <laughs> what the Lord has done that's that line Scott <laughs> it, it'll surprise you what the Lord has done amen praise God it's him because of him some of us wish to hear Yes. If he ain't oh, calling yeah. you home, it's time to get busy for oh, God. Yeah. 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 And you know yeah. what? If you get busy for him and then count your blessings, say, Lord, Lord, thank you. He's not too busy to bless us. 
That's right. We get too busy not to be with him and forget about him. Keep going. There you go. Count your many blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings. See what the Lord has done. Maybe you need to start you a list. See, I'm, I'm going to count. See, what blessings do I have? Well, you woke up. That's one. <laughs> you open your eyes. That's a miracle. That's another one, you know. And just name them all. Praise God. He's given me a new day to serve him. And if you with him, keep going. There we go. Praise him. Just sang this song. This beautiful song. Amen. It says, you count your blessings. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings and see what God has done. Amen. You know, we magnify people more than we magnify our God. All right, right. Now. Come on now. We magnify all kinds of things before yeah. we magnify our God. Yeah. But you know, if you don't know by now, I'm going to share with you. <laughs> God uses people. Yes. Amen. So he's going to use people to bless you. And I say, hey, thank you to whoever blesses yes. me. But I'm going to say, Lord, thank you for sending right. this person yes. to bless me. I know it's from you. Amen. But also Satan uses people to come and try to distract you. you. Yeah. Amen. And cause bad things to happen. Yes. So be careful. Hallelujah. We're not going to sing the whole thing, but <laughs> <laughs> you don't want Pastor to sing. Well, this yeah. morning we're going to take advice and we're going to count our blessings. Amen. It's not a complete list, but it's a good place to start. Let me see. Yes. Keep going. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is good. You need to write this down somewhere. <laughs> Count your blessings, not your anxieties, not your cares, and not your worries, not your problems. Mm -hmm. Amen. Count your blessings. Mm -hmm. So many of us have this Amen. backwards. Okay. Yeah. We got to get it straight. Yes. Because God is blessing us. Yes. We need to count our blessings and not all these other things. Mm -hmm. So let's get it straight. Let's get it right. Amen. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're so busy adding up our troubles that we forget about our blessings. Remember, mm -hmm. you're too blessed to be stressed. Yeah. So we forget about our blessings mm -hmm. because we get so busy, occupied. Yeah. And what does the enemy attack? He attacks the mind. Mm -hmm. The yeah. battlefield is the mind. Yes. And you can get so busy thinking of things mm -hmm. that's going to just keep you down. Amen. It will keep you away mm -hmm. and distract you. So we got to, the Bible says to do what? Renew your mind with yeah. the Word of God. Mm -hmm. You know, if you know, if you're going off, <laughs> just say, you know, uh -uh, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to renew my mind with the Word of God. The Word of God says this, and cast it on Him yes. and get my mind straight. So, so I can communicate with him. And he wants to communicate with me. Where's he going to put it? He's going to give you some, some thoughts. He's going to speak to you. Mm -hmm. But we need to remember this. Amen. He's going to talk Amen. to your spirit. Amen. Amen. Keep going. Okay. It's not coming up, so I'm not going to go here. Um, anyway, a few reminders before we uh, get started. Um, we talked about a song uh, of thanksgiving, Psalms 100. It says, Earth sings to the Lord. Be happy as you serve the Lord. Come before Him with a happy song. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who has made us, and we belong to Him. Yeah. We are His people and the sheep He takes care of. Come through His gates of His temple, giving thanks to Him. Come yes. through His gates, giving thanks to God. Yes. Lord, thank you. Amen. And it says, enter into his courtyards with songs of praise. Mm. Amen. Whew, man, this is blessed. This, I'm blessed already. Honor him and bless his name. The Lord is good. Yes. There is no end to his faithful love. Yes, right. We can right. trust him forever and Amen. ever. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Amen. Amen. Man. So, Psalms 100. You know what? I challenge you. <laughs> Learn this. Yeah. Read it daily to yourself. Yeah. Amen. Read it daily to yourself. I don't know what translation you use, but read it daily to yourself. And you know, next thing you know is, is you're just going to know it. Yeah. And it's just going to come out of you. Right. No matter where you are, 
I say, well, I don't even need to read it anymore. It's in me. Get the word in you so it can flow out of you. It says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Yes. You're going to speak the living word. The word is not dead. Amen. The word right. is alive. That's it. And it's going to yeah. come out of you. And when you speak it, you're going to speak life. Yes. Not death. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. First Thessalonians 5.18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Amen. In everything give thanks. He wants no bad things for you. That's right. You know, Jesus don't put sickness on you. No, That's right. Because there's no sickness in heaven That's right. to give you. That's it. Amen. The enemy will if you receive it. Mm -hmm. When he sacrificed, when he had his son sacrificed, he put the, those stripes to put on his back mm -hmm. for you to be healed. Yes. Amen. So he's not going to put something back on you that he already put on his son. Amen. Amen. He already put on his son. Why was that not good enough? Huh. That was good enough. Yeah, but we have was. to Amen. confess what the word of God says. Right, right. By Jesus stripes I'm healed. Yeah. You feel sickness in your body? Just speak to it. The yes. word of God. And say, Amen. by Jesus stripes, I am healed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. So sickness go in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Things will change. So we're going to continue with many other reasons of why we should give thanks. And here's number one. Give thanks to his presence in your life. Don't never let nobody tell you <laughs> that he's not in your life. And he wants you. And he's called to you. And he is the God of your life. Amen. So he wants to be involved in your life. But we got we have to let him. Yeah. Amen. We have we have to let him. Yeah. Your first powerful your let me see. Your first communication should be a meeting with him. Amen. When you meet with him and you pray, this is called relationship. Yes. Amen. You have a relationship with your God. Amen. Amen. He wants to be in in uh in he wants to be involved in your life. Yes, he does. Amen. So let's remember it. Let's remember this. People deserve us when we need them. The Lord is with us at all times. Even in all situations, the Lord has never left us. Amen. Just like the prodigal son when he left. Mm. We have left him. You know, I have left him. But you know what? He never leaves us. That's and right. just like a father waiting for his children to come home. He's waiting yeah. for us. I want, I want you home. Yes, this is for somebody. Yeah. You're listening. You're watching. <laughs> God wants you back home. Yes, How long are you going to wait? Yeah. You know, I don't care who told you, but the God... Can I take you home? Or God, can I take you back? That's a lie. Mm -hmm. The word of God, he wants, Father wants you back. So you come yes. back home. And all you have to do is repent, confess it, repent, and come back to Father. Amen? Mm -hmm. So praise God. Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. That's right. Amen? So Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said... He himself has said, mm -hmm. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Right. He said, I don't care who else says what. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important that you know what the word of God says. Yes. It's why it's important that you know the word. Yeah. So if I say something wrong, uh -huh. you can come and say, Pastor, you said this, but it's, it's not right. You know what? I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. You can come to me and tell, let me know. Write me. Do something. Send me something. and says, you know, but you said this. I want to confess only and speak only what the Word of God says. Amen. Amen. And you need to find out for yourself what it says so nobody else can mislead you, misguide yeah. you. Right. Okay? So, praise God. So, we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Second Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Second Corinthians 5, 7 says, we believers, it says, we for we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by fear. Yes. Because if the word is in me, I'm not going to fear. Amen. The enemy is going to try to put fear on you. The world, through all this negative stuff, you know, talk and news and whatever, they're going to try to put fear on you. And you know when you've taken it? <laughs> because you start fearing and you start mm -hmm. acting fearful and you start acting like the world. And start confessing the wrong things. Right. And you start magnifying the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Get back to the Word and get right with God and start Amen. confessing the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. 
Psalm 23 says, His presence is always with us. He says, yes. He is the Lord, our shepherd. We are His sheep, and He's our shepherd. He's our pastor. Amen. Yes. So, He is there for us. Amen. Psalms 91 says, Safely abide in the presence of God. He never leaves this church. Mm -hmm. You need to know this for yourself. Yes. Exodus 30, uh, 33 and 4 says, The Lord replied, My presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Yes. So he is with you. You know, don't try to hide from him. Don't try to say, well, you know, the Lord doesn't know this. He knows everything about you. And he still loves you the best. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no matter how bad you may think you are, God loves you best. Because he knows all about you. And he knows the worst about you. And he still loves you the most. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. So it's time we start walking with him and be on his winning side and on the losing side. Amen. And number two says, give thanks for his protection. He wants to protect us. He wants to protect our, li our life. There are many dangers in the world, and yet God has protected us. He is the God on the mountain, the song says, but he is also God in the valley. Yes. You know, if you go up or down, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. He says he never leaves you. That's right. You know, if 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 if, if uh, when they threw the three Hebrew children in, in the lake of fire, I mean in the fire, he said he was still there with them. Yeah. He didn't say, "Well, I'm not going in there." <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, you know, he's with you. But we need to know to reach out to him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, "I'm I I I come and knock." But you got to open up. Yes. Amen. It says, he, he comes and knocks at our heart, but we have to let him in. That's yes. right. He wants to come in. Amen. He wants to come in and sup with you. He wants yes. to come in and, and, and be with you. Yes. God's protection has kept us alive so far. He is the reason we got this far. Yeah. You know, you're not lucky. You know, quit calling yourself lucky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No. It's time you stop calling yourself lucky. You're not lucky. You're blessed. Amen. Yes. Amen. The reason you made it this far is because you're blessed. You're a blessing. God has blessed you, and you're too blessed to be stressed. So know that you are a blessing, going somewhere to happen for God. Amen. Right. Sure. But you're not lucky. Amen. You're a blessing. Proverbs three uh, three twenty six says this. Well, let me hold on. Let me go back a little bit. Lord watches over us to protect us. And you know, if you've never read Psalms 23 or Psalms 91, it's time that you start reading. Yes, this. amen. <laughs> all, all His Word is good, amen? Yes, amen. Remember the dangerous situations we have faced in the past and how God has protected us. So you know what? It's time to be grateful. It's time to give thanks on a daily yes. basis, not <laughs> just on Thanksgiving Day. That's right, that's right. <laughs> that's a holiday we celebrate once a year. Yeah. Yeah. But for us Christians, every day is a day of thanksgiving, yes. of giving thanks. Amen. Proverbs three twenty six says, "You can trust the Lord to protect you; mm -hmm. He will not let you fall into harm." Trust Him. Amen. Psalms ninety one three and four says, "God will save you from uh, hidden dangers uh -huh. and from deadly diseases." Yeah. Do we get this? That includes coronavirus, yes, <laughs> yeah. or COVID nineteen, whatever you want to name it. Amen. And, you know, whatever comes down the road. Yeah. Those stripes on Jesus covered all sickness, all diseases, whatever comes down the road. It don't matter. It's nothing yeah. new. Jesus covered it all. Jesus paid for it all. So, say, I, I'm not receiving it. By Jesus stripes, I am healed. Amen? <laughs> Lord is your protector. The Lord stands by your side, shading and protecting you. The sun cannot harm you during the day, and the moon cannot harm you at night. The Lord will protect you from every danger. He will protect your soul. The Lord will protect you as you come and go, both now and forever. Yes. Until he calls you home, Father is protecting you. And when you get to heaven, you don't need protection anymore because right. you're in his presence. <laughs> Amen. So, praise God. Amen. So, it's, it's good for us to know these things so that people, or you hear somebody say something, and we don't receive that as truth. Right. Go find out for yourself. Yeah. So you won't be walking, believing in negative things or untruthful things. 
when you know that truth is going to set you free from those mindsets from traditions from what people have said yeah. and start reading it for yourself so that you know for yourself amen yeah and give thanks for his provision in our lives he is jehovah jireh our provider amen. he provides for Lord. us and thank you Lord. thank you for providing the lord is faithful to meet all our needs he needs our, uh, he provides our food, our clothing, our shelter, and whatever is needed. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise God. He Amen. provides us with so many blessings. Trust in the Lord and fear not, for the Lord will supply all of our needs. And in difficult times, Philippians 4, 19 says what? For my God shall supply all or some of my needs. All. <laughs> all of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now you need to know this. Yes. Amen. But it says surprise all your needs, not all your wants. <laughs> so I know That's right. whatever you want. Maybe you want the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want, you know, but you'll supply all of your needs. Amen. Yes. Let's let's get it right. Amen. <laughs> Proverbs, uh, excuse me, Psalms 34 and 8 through 10 says, Taste and see that the Lord is yeah. It's good. <laughs> Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Yes. Verse 9 says, Fear the Lord, you his holy people. For those uh -huh. who fear him lack nothing. That's it. Amen. Praise God. You know, yeah. I, don't, I lack nothing. Why? Because God provides all my needs. Amen. Yes, <laughs> and uh, verse 10 says, The lion may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Amen. 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 Man, praise God, you know. Yes. We can stop anywhere and just yes. say thank you. Thank Amen. You. And be grateful. Yes. Give thanks with a grateful heart. With a positive, positive yes. attitude. Yes. An attitude of gratitude. Amen. Praise God. Psalms 33, 18 and 8, uh, excuse me, 13, 18 and 19. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him. And those who whose hope is in his unfading love. Yes. To deliver them from death and keep them alive in family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whatever the situation may be. I'm not counting on the situation. I'm counting mm -hmm. on my God. Amen. Because he'll see me through. Yes, Amen. He will. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear, I will fear no, evil. no evil. Why? Because he's with me. That's Amen. It. <laughs> I'm his. I'm, I'm precious property. Yes. See yourself that way. If you've been seeing yourself uh, bad, then don't. Because you, you're a blessing, and you're God's yeah. property, and you're valuable. Amen? So, see yourself this way. We have uh, handouts that we give out all the time, and it, it says a lot of good things about what I am in uh -huh. Him. Oh, man, I'm, I'm a blessing. Amen. Amen? I am blessed, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Quit seeing yourself less than what you are. He yeah. made you an original, and He blessed you. He made you... Uh, a blessing so see yourself this is what I want to say see yourself the way he sees you he sees you a winner he sees you a champion yes amen he sees you a conqueror amen and that's the way we need to see ourselves that's right <laughs> that's why sometimes you know you, you you can't stand with with the crowd sometimes you might have to stand by yourself yeah, yeah. but yes. even if you're by yourself God is with you yes he is amen so praise God yeah, but everybody went to the right. Well, God says go left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have to follow the crowd. Amen. I'm following God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Be a God pleaser, not That's people right. pleaser. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Give thanks for the people he's given us in our yes. lives. Whatever people he's blessed you with. You know, some people are uh, there for a short time. Some people are there for a long time. But still, he puts people that's going to... Yes. Uh, bless you Amen. and increase you uh -huh. in, in your life and help you in, in, in your ministry in your walk amen, amen. And if it's a distraction then let it go yeah. yeah amen and if he takes it from you don't go after it, That's it. <laughs> amen. <clears throat> parents families relatives friends co-workers classmates neighbors teachers pastors we have received so much joy and favor through the people whom God has brought in our lives. Don't worry 
over the bad we've experienced through some bad people. Mm -hmm. Give thanks for all the wonderful people that uh, have been a great blessing to you. Yes. Amen. Let's not take things for granted, you know. I mean, it's okay to, if God sees you or tells you to say something to somebody, it might have took you a few minutes to say it to them. Mm -hmm. But it's going to last them a lifetime. Yes, it will. Because it's going to, they've been waiting for this. And they've been talking to God. And God is going to use somebody and going to use you to come and say, you know, God loves you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a blessing. Say something kind. Yes. It took you only a few seconds, but it's going to last a long lifetime for yes. them. Amen. And it's going to be a turnaround for them. Yes. Amen. To see yourself be used of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be one to be used of God. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for using me. Thank you for blessing me. Genesis 20, uh, 39, 21 says, But the Lord was with Moses in prison and showed him his faithful love. And the Lord made Joseph a favorite with the prison warden. <laughs> Praise God. You know, you read about all these Bible heroes. Uh -huh. well, Moses, David, Daniel, Joseph, Paul. All these Bible heroes. They had sinned in their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So somebody says, you know, you got sin in your life. God can't use you anymore. It's a lie. Yeah. All these Bible heroes you read about has sin in their lives. And Paul was going around... And Saul, <laughs> he was killing Christians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they all had a fault, but still God used them mightily. Amen. Yes. Amen. Get just get rid of that sin mm -hmm. and serve God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Never say that you're not good enough. That's right. How can you go to God and say, I'm not good enough? Mm -hmm. He created you the way He wanted you. Yes. And He gifted you and put everything in you. To fulfill whatever mission he's called you to do. Amen. Glory. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So never, never say, I'm not good enough. You know, there's so many people committing suicide here lately. Mm. And it's going to get worse. Yeah. But you need to know as a child of God, God is using you. God loves you and God wants you. And you see yourself the way he sees you. And not think about when you allow the enemy in that mind, the battlefield is going on. Mm -hmm. And he's going to try to put you down. And suicide is one of them. So don't see yourself less than what God made Amen. you. You're special. You're a blessing. Amen. Amen. I wrote something in, in the front and I missed it. But I wanted to say this to you. <laughs> Some of us are more important about our benefits from our job than we are with the benefits God gives us. Oh, boy. Hey, <laughs> come on now. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, the benefits from our job is good. Yeah. But still, the benefits from God yeah. is much better. Yes. But we're more interested in the physical things uh -huh. and the things we can see. Uh -huh. But faith, have faith <laughs> in the things you cannot see. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So praise God. You know, God's got better benefits for us. Yes, and he's got yes. a better retirement plan right. for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, but it's not retirement. It's an everlasting life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how I skipped that. But anyway, maybe I was too excited about it. <laughs> Let me see what else you got, Carmen. Keep going. There's some awesome scriptures we talked about last week. But John 3.16, for God loves us so much. That was a benefit. He gave yes. us salvation through Jesus. Yes. yes. Amen. Some of us take that for granted. You know, salvation is a free, is free. Yes. It's a benefit. <laughs> but we don't see it that way. You know. But but it, it's a it's a benefit in the world. His yes. people that he sacrificed his only begotten son mm -hmm. for us. Keep going. <sighs> uh, first Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18. It says, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, Are you yes. thankful on a daily oh, basis yes. for the day He has given us? Well, you know, it'd be better if it wasn't raining. It'd be better if uh, I didn't have this or that or whatever the situation <laughs> may be. No, oh, He's giving you a new day. Yes. Amen. That's a blessing. Yes. Keep going. Giving thanks always for yes. all things. 
to oh, God and the Father and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep going. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Back. This is what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Here are some blessings I'm thankful for. And uh, what is your list? You can you have your list. Your list could be different than mine. Just a few things. God provision. Yes. He's my provider. He yes. provides for me. Love mm -hmm. my family and friends. Privilege of teaching God's word. Mm -hmm. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Being able to help people. Yeah. All the beautiful things God has created. Mm -hmm. And salvation. Yes. Amen. Salvation. That's the most beautiful thing. Some people take just don't see it. They don't mm -hmm. see the beauty in that. Yeah. But salvation is free. Yes, it is. But you have to confess it. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to confess it with your mouth and yep. receive it. Amen. Receive it. Yes. So, number uh, God has all has uh, approved, anointed, called, and equipped you to complete your mission. Yes. And that's where some of the things that He's called us to do. Uh -huh. He's gifted you to fulfill whatever He's called you to do. Don't ever say. I'm no good. I'm not qualified. God didn't qualify me. Or God didn't... Uh, I'm not good enough to do anything for God. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. That's You'd it. be gone. But you're good enough yes, when you, you start hooking up and mm -hmm. fellowship and commit with Him and surrender yes. yourselves and start serving Him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Give thanks for the mission that he's given us. Uh -huh. Be grateful for the work that we do. Amen. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Gives us a purpose in life and to meet our needs. Yes. Not only that, but to meet the need of others. Yes. Because he's going to use us to yes. serve his people. Yes. Yeah. Amen. You know, you do something kind <laughs> for somebody and you want something in return, <laughs> That's not a blessing. That's right. And you're not doing it under God. <laughs> you're doing it for yourself. Yeah. Because I want something back. Mm -hmm. Hey, that was just a business thing. <laughs> no, it's a blessing thing. You do it as unto God. Amen. And you bless them and you leave it there. Amen. And say, thank you, Lord. I was able to share your word with someone. Yeah. Come on, you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Don't grumble or complain about your job or about the difficulties that we face in life our home, or our workplace. Mm -hmm. Remember, don't magnify your problem. That's it. Magnify your God. Some of yeah. us are never, 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 never happy. Never. We, yeah. we, we, we work a job that we don't care for. Mm. We do things we don't care to do. Mm. You know, and we're unhappy and we're complaining all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, don't be a complainer. Amen. Be a servant of God. Yes. Amen. Lord. Giving thanks for the job yeah. that he's called, that he's given us. Amen. Do the best to fulfill our responsibilities faithfully. Yes. Amen. And listen, when you have a job, you got to be responsible to your employer. That's right. Amen. And be faithful in being there and doing your job faithfully. Amen. Even if you don't like it. Even if you don't like it, exactly. Because you know, even if he's not watching, God is watching you. Yes. And be careful who you share with. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Colossians 3, 23 and 24, you can write this down. And whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, not unto men. Amen. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. You serve the Lord Christ. Amen. So Lord, I'm doing this unto you. And I'm going to enjoy what I'm doing. Amen. People are going to reject you. People are going to say things. But still, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Yes. I'm preparing myself, no matter what comes out there. I've shared it with you this way. <laughs> There's giants out there on a daily basis uh -huh. when you go out. So you know what? I'm prepared for whatever comes. Because greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Amen. God is with me. When you know who you are and who you are in Christ, it doesn't matter. That's Lord, right. I'm doing this unto you. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> Then the Lord will bless us and promote us to greater heights, mm -hmm. just as he did Joseph. You know, Joseph, he had brothers that were jealous of him. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> Father liked him more. <laughs> mm. And you know what, everywhere Joseph went, he was promoted. Mm -hmm. Everywhere Joseph went, 
there was blessings all the time. And you know, he was he, he was promoted all the way to second in, in command in, 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 in Egypt. Mm -hmm. But he was doing God's work. Yes. Amen. He was doing God's work. That was just my uh, my uh, trans my uh, <laughs> my share of, uh, of Joseph. <laughs> Says Potiphar left everything he had in Joseph's care. Uh -huh. With Joseph in charge, he did not concern himself with anything. Mm -hmm. He trusted him. Yes. Can God trust you? <laughs> Can your employer trust you? Mm -hmm. To do what you need to do yeah. and be faithfully in serving him you know you you could he might have you there just to be a witness to that employer mm -hmm. lead him to god amen mm -hmm. so regardless be all that you can be for him mm -hmm. give thanks to him for the time in which he has allowed us to live lord thank you for this time that you have given us mm -hmm. to serve you to be here on the earth you know until you call us home I'm going to do my best for you where, wherever I go. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> it's called surrender. It's called sold out. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us can't do that. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we just want to do our own thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're living in glorious days. This is the day the Lord has made. <laughs> mm -hmm. God is pouring out His Spirit upon all the world, all the earth. Mm -hmm. We have wonderful opportunities today to know God's intimately and grow in his knowledge and yes. grace so be grateful be thankful to god for allowing us to live in these last days for such a time as this that's right you know we we've said it like this many times god has given us he is the head we're the but we're his body mm -hmm. we're the church this building we meet is not the church it's a building that we assemble ourselves together the church is us believers mm -hmm. amen but he's ahead. Yes. Amen. This physical body has many parts, but only one body. Yeah. And all these parts work together in unity. Right. And that's what the body of Christ needs to do. We need to assemble ourselves together and come together and work together and fulfill what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is what we need to do. Whether it's a small thing that you do or a big thing you do, let's keep our eyes on him. Because if it's small or big, my eyes are not too big to say, well, you know, hey, he did something big, so I want to do something big. No, you see these physical parts that we have, outwardly, inwardly, they do a function, big or small. It still keeps this physical yes. body functioning. Yes, yes. And as long as there's no conflict <laughs> and there's unity, this body works great. Yes. So this is what the body of Christ needs. All of us, big or small, doing our share, our part. Mm -hmm. And whatever part you do, big or small, be so loud to him to say, hey, Amen. I did something small for God, but you know, for him, it was big. Yes. So you see it that way and you receive it that way. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I was glad I was able to share something with somebody just to let them know God loves you. Yes. I was kind to somebody. I smiled at somebody. Mm -hmm. We have so much to give. Yes. The greater one is in us, and we have so much to give. It's not just about finances. It's about giving our time, by yes. giving our love, sharing the word, yes. you know, and being available for him to use. Yes, amen. Yeah. It's so, so much. So anyway, <laughs> that was a blessing. Somebody needed that. Yeah. Amen. And you yes. got it. So in closing, <laughs> count your blessings. <laughs> count them one by one. Yes. <laughs> what else we got, Carmen? <laughs> <laughs> oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good but you know <laughs> I don't know how you can go around saying how God is bad because everywhere you read in the Bible it says God is good so where'd you get bad from well I heard brother so and so I heard pastor so and so I heard sister so and so well they was misquoting the word of God because yeah. nowhere in the Bible it says it's bad it says it's good <laughs> for his steadfast love endures Forever. Keep going. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. And to say praises unto thy name, O Most High. Some of these uh, we read uh, last week. Just keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, for prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, 
let your requests be made known to God. Amen. You know, just don't run to God and 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 dump whatever you need to. Yeah, right. You know, it says with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving. let your requests be made known. <laughs> with thanksgiving, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Don't just go and dump and then run, you know. <laughs> you didn't even wait for God to say anything. Right. <laughs> okay, it's not just a one-way thing, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Must. Keep going. Yeah, we got quite a few. Tell me what you get all this <laughs> Keep going. That's faster. <laughs> ah. Count your blessings. You know, these are just some uh, scriptures. We talk about count your blessings, praise Him, and give Him thanks. Yes. Psalm 8, uh, 68, 19. Psalm 103, 2. Mm -hmm. Psalms 5. All the ones that we've just showed slides yes. for are listed here. But you can go, just go to the internet and type on that count your blessings scriptures. Amen. It'll give you all these scriptures. You can list them, print them out, and mm -hmm. just start reading them. You know, Amen. start learning them. But man, these are these all these are good. And you have a page to go to number two. There we go. Awesome. It says James the last one there says James one seventeen says what? Every good gift and every, every perfect gift, gift is from above, coming Amen. down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or, or shadow due to right. change. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Lord. So beware for getting out his benefits. Yeah, it's good to know all your job benefits. Mm -hmm. But it's better to know all of God's benefits. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> you know, some of us are going to see him one day, and we're going to stand before him, and he's going to say, how come you never used my benefits? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the benefits I gave you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we never touched them. Mm -hmm. Use the benefits he's given us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Be honest. Don't yeah. be a phony. Don't put on an act. Remember, uh, mm. part-time questions no match for a full-time That's right. So you can come and you can sit here and you can pretend or you can listen. You know that's not that's not that's not good enough. Mm. Don't pretend. Don't don't be part-time Christian. Yeah. Don't have excuses. Everyone uses excuses, mm. but don't be one of them. A phony Christian turns people off. Right. So yeah. watch your words and your actions. Yeah. Amen. Um, it's, salvation is, is free. Mm -hmm. We don't have to try to sell it to people. Right. right. Amen. We don't have to try to force it to people. That's right. It's free. They don't have to get it. They'll grab it. Mm -hmm. You know, and they'll, they'll confess it. Be grateful. Be a participator, not a spectator. Get involved and serve Him. Yes. You have a part in this. Know that. Some of you need to hear this. Mm -hmm. You have a part. Yes. Why? Because God put you here. Mm -hmm. And you, what is my part? Then you talk to Him. And you find out what your part is. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Be grateful. There's nothing that encourages it's like gratitude. Yeah. Have a thankful heart. Be vocal. Yes. Tell somebody. Praise Him. Bless someone with your testimony. If you say share your testimony, he says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Some of you have awesome testimonies. Mm -hmm. Mine is just uh, little. <laughs> it's awesome. But it's awesome because it still has the power to release somebody yeah. from whatever bondage they're in. Amen. Amen. So be natural, be normal. Praise God in, in a way that is natural for you. Be consistent, make it part of your everyday living. Participate and don't just spectate. That's so right. praise Him and thank Him. Amen. Amen. Surrender yourself to Him and commit yourself and just let, just say, Lord, I commit myself to You and I give You thanks for using me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So Amen. I hope that blessed you. Amen. And we don't want to close until you have an opportunity. Amen. Some of you that have never received them. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And He will. But you have to invite Him in. Yes. And you have to confess it and invite Him. And then receive Him as Lord and Savior. And He's going to change your life. Amen. And you shall start living for Him and working and learning the Word and getting the Word in you. So you can start 
walking in faith and not in fear anymore. Amen. So make yourself available. Praise God. Some of you that need a touch of healing, just touch your body. If it's on the inside, just touch that part of your body. And just say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Body, line up with the Word of God and be healed. Because yes. the Word of God says it. And so I receive my healing right now. You have to receive it. Praise God. I believe I receive it. And it's mine. And I take it in Jesus' name. Amen. So praise God. And some of you, those that are watching, listening, uh, it's time to give your tithe or offerings. You can still do that. All you can do is go to our website and uh, hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, you go to NBC PO Box 252, yes. Marfa, Texas 79843. Yes. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to give, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we give ourselves back to you in Jesus' name. Amen. 